What's up guys, Robin here with the Red Carpet Report. We're at Hub Network's first annual Halloween bash on the purple carpet, talking to some stars and getting our trick or treat on. So talking about your show, can you give me a little insight? Um, yes, I'm on the amazing world of Gumball and I play the role of Darwin. And I mean, doing that show is really amazing for me. I mean, you get to, first of all, you get to go to work in like sweatpants or anything yeah. because all they really need is your voice. So that's yeah. amazing. You can be comfortable in doing something you love. And like, you can just go all out, make all the craziest voices and like, it'll go perfectly with the show. So there's no yeah. holding back and it's perfect. That's awesome. Can you do a little like, what's up Gumball? This is Darwin, your friend. Hello. <laughs> Oh my gosh, so I just got signed for voiceovers. Oh. Yeah, and I'm, I like love it so much. It's so yeah, much it's fun. Great, right? Yeah, do you have any tips? Um, tips, well, what I do, I like to drink a lot of Gatorade before I go in the booth. It really helps my voice a lot. Okay. And you know, just go all out. Don't be scared to like, because it's better to go all out than just underplay the role. So just go all out okay, and yeah. do the best you can. And then if they like it, you get the job. So that'll be great. Like just go all out and have a lot of fun. Just do the best you can. That's so cool. Do you have any other projects this year? Or are you mostly focused on that? Um, yes, I have a short film, and we're hoping to get that in like the film festival circuits, you know, Toronto, Cannes, stuff like that. And I play the role of an autistic boy who sketches everything he sees because he can't, he can't vocalize. He can, he can't vocalize what he sees, so he sketches everything he sees. And one of his sketches happened to be a big part of solving a murder. Wow. Do you do you draw? Do you? No, I don't, but I need to start because it's really cool. But they had a guy on set who drew really amazing pictures. So yeah. Was it hard for you to play an autistic boy? Say that again. Was it hard for you to play autistic? Yeah, it was definitely challenging because I was one of the main characters and yet I didn't speak throughout the whole movie. So I had to really use like my facial expressions. Is, which is ironic for a voice. Actor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Someone with such a beautiful voice couldn't use his voice. Thank you. But yeah, it was really challenging, but I think I think I think I pulled it off, you know, it was really cool. And it was a really good challenge and I like challenges myself because without challenges you're not there's no way you can get better. So Are you still in school? You just look really young. Oh yes, I just started high school this year. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be so popular in high school. I bet you already are. People are like, I wanna hang out with him. <laughs> How do you juggle school and acting? Um, well, my school, they're very supportive with like my acting. You know, when you go on set, they have a teacher there, so I'll just tell my teachers at school, I'll be gone for like a week or so, and then they'll give me the work in advance, and then I'll do it on set and bring it back. So it meshes together all week. <laughs> You have fun today. So nice to meet you. Great encouragement too from a voice actor. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you like this video, like it, subscribe, watch all our other interviews. I'm gonna go hang out with Batman. I'll see you later. Guys, I'm not actually Robin. It's Ashley. <laughs>